I'm on vacation in the lovely Costa Rica and I have to ask myself one important question. Is the Costa Rican food as magnificent as the Costa Rican nature? Or is it mostly going to be rice and beans? It's going to be mostly rice and beans, isn't it? It's my first morning in Costa Rica and I'm gonna try an authentic Costa Rican breakfast. So it's gonna be fried plantain, grilled cheese, scrambled eggs and something called spotted rooster, gallo pinto. Oh well, here it goes. So it's beans and rice and some onions and it's not that exciting, but it's pretty good. Let's try the plantain as well. Something that looks like a banana that is something quite different, I think. Hmm. It's not as sweet as the banana, but it, I really like it. The rest isn't that exciting. It's scrambled eggs and a tortilla and a watermelon. Mm, nice, but uh, there's grilled cheese as well. I'm not a fan of cheese. Breakfast in Costa Rica gets a three, no, three and a half spotted vagabonds out of five. It's pretty good, except for that cheese. After some great canyoning in Arenal, there's uh, lunch included, and that's rice and beans. Surprisingly like the breakfast as well. <laughs> well, let's try it out. Rice and beans with some chicken. I'm not sure what I expected, but uh, I think I got it at least. <laughs> this one will get uh, two canyoning vagabonds out of five. It's a perfectly decent lunch, but sometimes I wish that tour companies wouldn't include lunch with activities, because it takes away precious daytime. But uh, then again, maybe I'm just restless. <laughs> I went by a bakery and asked for something very typical Costa Rican. They gave me something called tamal asado, I think. It's very compact and I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's full of cheese or something. Ugh. Oh well, gotta try it. Almonds maybe? I think one piece like this can feed a family of five, six, eight. The birds can have it. No. <laughs> Tamal asado gets uh, two slightly regretful vagabonds out of five. After a relaxing morning at the Tabacón Thermal Spa, I'm gonna try some traditional Costa Rican dishes for lunch. First up is sopa negra, black soup, made with black beans. And then I'm going to try casado, which means married man. So it's uh, beans and rice. Sounds very familiar. Almost like everything I've tried here so far. It tastes like black beans. There was egg in the beans as well. You know, it's quite simple, but quite good as well. I'm going to give this uh, three black vagabonds out of five. Now, Casado looks absolutely amazing. So many colors and the soap is good as well. It is good. Is this a little tortilla? Or you a baby tortilla? Nice tortilla. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't play with my food. So, Casado means married man. And one theory of how this name came to be was that men came into restaurants saying that they want to be treated like casados and be given meals like they got at home. Another theory says that the casado refers to the beans and the rice because they go together like a married couple. Oh, I dropped some rice. <laughs> a beautiful dish in a beautiful location. Casado gets four unmarried vagabonds out of five. Cheers!
Well, this is gonna be interesting. For my dinner tonight, I'm trying some uh, special ribs and I got a starter that I don't know what it is. So let's try it out. Okay, it's probably just a meat and vegetable soup with uh, cilantro. As I was trying my soup, I got my pina colada as well. What is this? Oh well. The soup is pretty plain but good, so let's give it two and a half, um, I'm not sure, soupy vagabonds out of five. But this pina colada, it's getting a WTF surprised vagabonds out of five. <laughs> The main course tonight is going to be special ribs with uh, sautéed potatoes and beans and rice. Of course there's going to be beans and rice. Mm -mm. I'm not sure what the special part is of the ribs, but they're really tender and good. The potatoes taste a lot of cilantro. I think the Costa Ricans have a bit of an odd fetish for cilantro, to be honest. The special ribs get three and a half special vagabonds out of five. Now, leave me alone. I need to talk to my piña colada a little bit. At the Selvatura Park, you can do zip lining and walk on the famous hanging bridges. And you can also have lunch. I'm gonna try some pumpkin soup first. Pumpkins are weird. We don't really eat pumpkins in Sweden a lot. I guess some during Halloween, maybe. Let's try it. I think there's more butter than pumpkin in this soup, but it's good. Let's give the pumpkin soup three and a half buttered up vagabonds out of five. For the main course, do you know what I'm not having? Beans and rice. Surprisingly not. It's a pork chop with sautéed potatoes. Yep, that's pork. Potatoes are plentiful in Costa Rica today, and it's easy to imagine that it, since it's pretty close to Peru, they have been here for a long time, but that's actually not true. Potatoes came with the Spanish, so they are relatively new to Costa Rica. However, I'm not sure if that's true. I tried to Google the information, but uh, I couldn't find anything about history of potatoes in Costa Rica, so I'm making it up. But it sounds logical, doesn't it? They're trying to poison me with broccoli. I think the pork shop may not have been my best choice, so let's give it two and a half porky vagabonds out of five. Cheers! You know, I really like the casado, so I'm gonna have it once more, this time in the treehouse restaurant in Santa Elena. Yep, I'm sitting in a tree and eating. What's not to like? Let's start with the plantain. Delicious meat as well. This one might actually be better than the previous one. Can I give it like 4.2 surprised vagabonds out of 5? Cheers! Let's talk about Costa Rican beer. There are three major brands, Imperial, Pilsen and Bavaria. To be perfectly honest, they're all a little bit watery. But uh, Bavaria has a little bit more of a fuller taste, a bit more flavor. However, considering the warm and sunny Costa Rican days, I'm not really complaining about the watery beers. All three are perfectly fine. Cheers to that! Did I mention that the Casado comes with beans and rice? I probably don't have to mention that anymore, right? Time to try something else from a bakery while I'm waiting for the bus. This one said pasteles carnas, and with my non-existent Spanish, I guess that means pastry with meat, maybe? Let's try it. There it is, there is meat inside. So I was correct. This one is getting 3.5 meaty vagabonds out of 5. It's good. For my dinner tonight, I am at the fascinating El Avion restaurant in Manuel Antonio, built out of the fuselage of an old CIA cargo plane. They have a dish called pasta a la vodka, so of course I have to try it. Let's see. I can't say that I taste the vodka at all. It's chicken and pasta and tomatoes. 
Still, it's chicken, pasta and tomatoes and that's good. So let's give it a 3 vodka deprived vagabonds out of 5. I'm now in San Jose and this is my final night in Costa Rica. So I need to think carefully about what I'm gonna eat. There have been some more handsome, less interesting dishes during the trip, but there is one that stood out just a little bit more than the others. I'm of course gonna have casado a final time before I go back to Sweden. Each casado is very similar, but also a little bit different from every other casado. So it's always a little bit of an adventure. How is this casado gonna be? This one turned out to be quite nice looking and tastes very nice as well. So let's finish it off with three and a half fried plantain vagabonds out of five. By the way, if they say that the beans and the rice marry so well in a casado, why do they serve them separate? That's about it for my little food trip in Costa Rica. Now I need to get back to the cold and wintry Sweden. And you need to like and subscribe. But most importantly, have a great day. Oh, and cheers.